Uh, with me today, I've got uh, Michael Buckman representing the Orthodox Union. So your first witness, please. Good morning, honorable members of the Judiciary Committee. My name is Michael Buckman, and I'm here today to ask your support of AB 927. I serve as co-chair of Teach California, an organization to committed to advocating on behalf of non-public school children. More importantly, though, I'm here today before you as the father of William, Julia, and Jonathan, my eight, five, and three-year-old children. William, Julia, and Jonathan attend a non-public Jewish day school in Los Angeles. My wife and I chose this school for our children because of our commitment to our culture and tradition. We never expected that making this choice would create a situation where we would worry about their daily safety. How is a parent to react when their child comes home and tells them they had a lockdown drill today in school? William told me how the teacher locks the door, pulls down the shades in the classroom, turns off the lights, and he and his fellow students hide in the closet. Faith-based institutions have always been subject to increased security risk, but as you are aware, the situation has escalated with the number of threats beginning to increase this year to the number of hundreds just so far. My children's school has worked hard to create a safe environment over the years, and it has increased tuition in order to cover the cost of security and technical equipment. Unlike other public schools in our area, we do not benefit from the public security personnel assigned to keep our children, staff, and campus safe. Significant resources are expended on these security efforts in lieu of money that would otherwise be going towards textbooks, teachers, and educating our children. Unfortunately, we live in a world today where lockdown drills are now as prevalent as fire drills. All our children in all our schools deserve a chance to develop, learn, and thrive in a safe and secure environment. On behalf of William, Julia, and Jonathan, and the hundreds of thousands of other California students like them, I thank you for your time and consideration and for keeping them safe by supporting AB 927. 